Hello, welcome to re, uh, using your TI-84 plus calculator to graph a stat plot. So if you go to your regular menu here, you're going to notice that there's nothing on here. Well, whenever you need to put in a, uh, a scatter plot and a list of points into your calculator, you're going to have to hit the stat button. So when we hit our stat button, we get this menu, and we're going to go to hit one for edit. And what we need to do is we need to put in some numbers here. Now, if you need to clear your list, the best thing to do is go up to your L2, hit clear, and then hit enter. That gets rid of them. Then you can go over to your L1, you can hit clear, enter, and that's gone also. So let's try a problem out of the book. We're on page 78. Uh, we're going to try number 21. And here it gives us a table. Uh, we're talking about the projected populations of New Jersey for selected years based on 2000 census. And for A, it says use graphing utility to create a scatter plot of the data with t equals 10 corresponding to 2010. So you want to make sure that you don't put 2010 into your graphing calculator in your list one. You'd want to put in just a 10. So we're going to put in our list one. We're going to start with a 10. Type in 10, hit enter. And then we're going to put in 15, hit enter. 20, enter, goes 25, and then 30. So if you type in, there's your list one, so that's your X column. Your Y column is going to be your um, your population. So it's going to be this row right here, this column here, this is your Ys. So we're going to say 9,018, enter. And then you have 9256, 9256. Then we get 9462, enter, uh, 9637, and finally 9802. So the best idea is to go back through and make sure all your numbers are correct, which they are, and make sure that you always have an X paired up with a Y. Sometimes if you get an extra X or an extra Y, they'll give you like a dim mismatch error is what will happen. So if you want to graph these, notice on my graph there's no points, best thing to do is hit zoom. Actually, before that, sorry, let's turn on your plot one. If you go to your y equals, plot one is not highlighted. So when you go up here and highlight, click on, hit enter on plot one. So now it will be on. We will never use plot one and plot, or plot two and plot three, so never have those on. So now what we can do is we can hit zoom, and then you can go down, and zoom nine is your zoom stat button. So if you go to 9, zoom stat, hit 9, there is your scatter plot. So what the zoom 9 does is it just puts everything in the correct uh, window for you so you can find your scatter plot. So now uh, another key in order to remember how to actually uh, find use regression feature. So in this case for 21 for part B, we have to use a regression feature to find a linear model. You go back to your calculator, you go back to your stat menu still, and instead of using your edit menu, you need to go over to your calc menu. So we're going to cursor to the right, and we're going to find a lin reg. So this should say 4. And now mine's been updated, and it says L1 here, L2, and then I'm going to go down and hit calculate. Yours may just say lin reg AX plus B, and then afterwards not having, it may not have all this. So if you have to add L1 or L2, that's just clicking on second, and then Notice how this says L1 underneath your 1 button. There's L1. Then you go down and you can say second L2. But if yours is up here, and none of this stuff is here, and it hadn't been updated, you're going to have to put a comma, which is right above your 7, in between your L1 and L2. So make sure you type that in correctly. Um, so after we go down, we have our L1, L2. We hit enter for calculate. Here is your equation. So y equals 38.98 plus x plus b. So if you want to graph this, you're going to hit y equals, and you'll say 38.98x plus, and now I forget the other number. I'm going to guess it's somewhere around, uh, sure, I can't remember. Well, if you ever need to go back, go stat calc, 4, calculate, L1, L2, uh, 8655.4, I was real close, so close, so 
Let's give her 8655.4. Eight six five five point four. So then here is if you graph, here's your line that goes through this point. So I would say that fits the data pretty well. So I hope this helped you on remembering how to type in a stat plot and find your actual points on your graph. If not, you need to see me, Mr. K.